Welcome back. And let me just start off with saying, hook them. I will be honest and say, I have been coughing before making this video. So if my throat gets a little bit raspy, just ignore me. It's going to be okay. But the Texas Longhorns have their first SEC matchup ever. And it's time. We're in the SEC conference. This is what we're looking for. We have Mississippi State rolling into Austin this weekend. And I'm excited for this matchup. I'm excited for a multitude for of Texas reasons. to finally have their first SEC game. I feel like all these other games have been test runs. I feel like now we have the opportunity to figure out who we are, to see what our rotations are going to be, and to figure out how this Texas team is going to continue to win games. I am so excited to be able to see what we're going to put out there on the field. I'm super excited to see what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like, how it's going to play, how it's going to be. I am so excited for this matchup. I to say though, as of the making of this video, I think Texas is already favored by 30 points. So that's kind of interesting and, you know, it kind of is what it is. There's nothing I, I could do about that. But I do hope that it's going to be a step up in talent at least. And I do hope to see Texas get challenged in ways maybe they haven't before. So and let so me just talk about the three things I'm going to be looking forward to as I watch the game this weekend. First and foremost, as of the making of this video, I have no idea who's going to be the starting quarterback. And honestly, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but at this point, it just kind of is what it is. But nothing that I say is going to be about the quarterback. So whoever's that quarterback, they should just take care of business and do what they're supposed to do. As I mentioned at the top of this, this is Texas's SEC first Texas's first game in the SEC where we're playing SEC competition. And I heard SEC competition, big, bad competition. Most people are going to look at Texas' schedule and almost laugh and be like, yeah, well, you all have the easier teams in the SEC. You all have the easier teams in the SEC. Here's the thing. Texas came from the Big 12. So don't get mad at who Texas is playing. We are a Big 12 team that came over to the SEC. And so it is our time to see if we can win football games. And so our job is to go out there and to beat Mississippi State. And that's just what it is. say Mississippi State's court starting quarterback injured himself in the last game. So that's kind of a thing. So now they're going to be starting a freshman. So listen, this is Texas's job to prove who they are. And so let me just get into the three things. The first thing I'm going to be watching is, can Texas defensive line get pressure against Mississippi State? Because this has been the thing that I've been wondering this whole time. What does Texas's defensive line actually look like? Are they going to be able to get pressure against Mississippi State? That is going to be something I'm going to be paying attention to. And then also I'm going to be paying attention to the rotations. Who's coming in? Who's going out? What does it look like? And what does it kind of feel like? Because this is our last game we're going to be able to play before we go on a bye week and then we go to Oklahoma. So this is kind of my opportunity to really assess and see where we're at. So I'm going to be paying attention to that defensive line to see how Texas matches up against Mississippi State offensive line. We better dominate that. But anyways, I'll leave that where it's at. <laughs> the second thing I'm going to be paying attention to is our run game. Mississippi State hasn't been able to stop the run. And so I'm very interested to see how Texas manages this game, mainly because one of my knocks on Sark is sometimes he falls in love with his playbook and he doesn't do the things that are working. He forgets to run the ball and we get kind of pass happy and we don't do the simple things that we're supposed to do. So I'm going to be paying attention to what Texas's run game looks like. Now, if this game ends up being a blowout, I'm going to be paying more attention to the before it's a blowout to see what the play calling looks like, to see what Sark is seeing and what he's doing and things like that. So I'm very interested to see how our run game looks. The other thing I'm looking for, and honestly, I'm kind of hoping for, I need that secondary to be challenged. I hope Mississippi State can challenge our secondary. They have not been challenged all year. Listen, I hope that Mississippi State can find a way to challenge our secondary. They need the challenge. They need to see what they need to work on. They need to put things on film. I need Mississippi State to throw the ball down the field. I'm going to be paying very close attention to see if Mississippi State throws the ball down the field. Because if they do, our secondary will have a chance to be challenged and we'll be able to see our complete offense and not just pieces of an offense. So I'm very curious to see what happens. 
As I mentioned before, I don't know who the quarterback is going to be as of this recording. By the time this releases, it will have been recorded well before I knew the official thing. So I'm not going to talk about a particular quarterback here. All I am going to say is I'm just going to trust Sark to make the best decision on what he needs to, whatever he needs to do, whatever he feels is the right thing to do. Cool. Let's roll with that. We're heading into a bye week next week. So it kind of is what it is. I just expect them to do what they need to do. The three things I'm going to be focused on is what our defensive line looks like. Can that secondary be challenged this week? I hope Texas' secondary is ready for the challenge if Mississippi State finds a way to challenge them. And what our run game looks like. I think our run game is going to be tremendous, if tremendously important to see what we can do and what we can't do and who, who does well and who does all the things. The other thing that I just want to call out too is Mississippi State gave up 500 yards on total offense against Florida last week. 500 yards. If Mississippi State is going to give up 500 yards against against uh, Florida, I'm very curious to see how many yards they give up against Texas. I don't care if Texas has two yards and they win the game. All that really matters is Texas wins this game. And so I'm just throwing that out there. 503 yards, that's a ton of yards to be given up, but whatever. So obviously my prediction, Texas should win this game. Texas sh should take care of business. Texas should head into the bye week being five and zero, oh, and being and getting prepared to play Oklahoma because I believe the stretch of Oklahoma and Georgia are going to be the two hardest stretches that we have on our schedule and so we have to come out and take care of business as I've been saying from the beginning this is put up or shut up time SEC play has started you're in conference play you don't want to lose in the games in conference play the first challenge in front of us is Mississippi State so I expect Texas to go out there to beat Mississippi State I'm predicting Texas to beat Mississippi State. I'm expecting it to be a good, clean game on our end, and I'm, I'm expecting us to take care of business. And like I always say, as long as we win the game, get out of there with minimal injuries, and keep it moving and head into the bye week, I will be a happy football fan. Well, let's be honest, I will find something to complain about because that's what I do. But <laughs> let me just end this video here. As I always say, hook up. <laughs>